ain't no party like a Donald Trump party because a Donald Trump party never ends. Ain't no party like a Donald Trump party because a Donald Trump party don't stop. Listen, y'all. Did y'all see? <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop it. Did y'all see? Good morning. Y'all, good afternoon. Hey, good evening to you. How you doing out there? Y'all can't tell me we're not living in a mental, mental world. Kind of remind me what uh, uh, Charles Manson said. He said, he told the prison, he said, you in jail? You in jail, you think that you're safe and you got a job, but you got to come in here every day to this madhouse. You is in hell, just like me, buddy. <laughs> so welcome to the mental hour with me, your host, Khadija. Y'all saw Donald Trump's choir with the bunch with the skinheads who were jamming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, nah. They was doing the Lion King. No, they wasn't. Oh, my God. And then they panned out to the audience. <laughs> it wasn't nobody there. It was a few black, about four black people in the front, scrambling by the chairs with their camera. I have no idea what they were there for. But all the seats were empty. And it was in the white, the, the, the other skinheads that was doing Bruno Mars, Uptown Funky Buck. We got to... <laughs> Come on, see along with me now. But what nobody have the audience. I'm done. I'm done with Donald Trump. I'm done with his madness because now it's just a full blown shit show. And um, I don't even know why I'm laughing about this because it's not even funny. It's insanity. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, y'all. Let me just move on from that because I can't even deal with it, okay? It's just, anyway, check out his party if y'all ain't seeing the Donald Trump party because the Donald Trump party don't stop. Check it out. But my main reason for doing this uh, was there was a, a, a video that really, really caught my, I mean, an article that caught my eye, and it was taken from the Daily Mail, okay? Prince Harry risks anger in the Queen by saying Commonwealth must acknowledge past wrongs, even if it's uncomfortable in apparent criticism of the British Empire during call with Meghan to young leaders. Um, so you got Harry speaking on the British Commonwealth, asking them to acknowledge the wrongs of the past, a parent's slight against his own ancestors who ruled the British Empire. I want y'all to understand. Against his own ancestors who ruled against the British Empire. Duke said there is no turning back now. Everything is coming to a head. It really is. Face criticism over the comments with an MP saying the Queen will be very upset. Who gives a damn? Let me tell y'all something. Honor your mother and father that your days may be long. And this is not a supremacist, a black, uh, as, uh, 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 what's his name? The, the, the peck man. This is not that type of a uh, conversation. Honor your mother and father that your days may be long. And I mean that in every sense of the word. Your physical mother and father that is there with you right now. Even though y'all may have had ups and downs, unless she put you in a situation where she tried to kill you, okay, well, you 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 should honor what she did for you, okay? Good or bad, that's up to God what kind of life you had. You also got to say the same thing about um, the Caucasian race. Honor your mother and father because the black woman is the eve of the earth. All nations come from me. Honor your mother and father that your days may be long. You have to make amends and come to terms of what has happened in, a, in, in this whole world. You have to. You have to understand that a 
unless you acknowledge, you know, those who don't remember the past are condemned to repeat it. So those of us who don't want to acknowledge the past are going to keep the, the, the stuff going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And on. What Harry did was definitely something to rattle the British um, monarchy there. Something that has never been done. And of course, they blame blaming Meghan Markle for, you know, screwing up his mind and all that kind of stuff. But who knows how long Harry has been, been dealing with stuff like that. They killed his mother. His mother ended up dead in some kind of, you know, well, a lot of people think an assassination. You know? This is, you know, there's an African proverb that I keep telling y'all that's stronger than anything I've ever heard. Truth pressed to the earth will rise. Truth pressed to the earth will rise. And when elephants fight, the grass suffers. And I think that is the most balanced African proverb um, that I can give right now. So those of y'all who get it, get it. Those of y'all who don't, don't. I would just go there with me. Prince Harry today faced criticism as he appeared to take a swipe at the British Empire by saying the history of the Commonwealth must be acknowledged, even if it's uncomfortable. The Duke of Sussex, 35, made the comment as he joined his wife, Meghan Markle, 38, for a video with a call to young leaders from the Queen's Commonwealth last week that made this public today. As part of the discussion on justice and equal rights, Harry and the Commonwealth needs to follow others who have acknowledged the past and are trying to right their wrongs. Also, admitted to having his own unconscious bias. Meanwhile, Megan said um, it is also time a, a time of reckoning when individuals should be putting their hands up to their own past and wrongdoing. Speaking from his Los Angeles home, Harry, whose grandmother is the queen and is head of the Commonwealth, said, When you look across the Commonwealth, there is no way we can move forward unless we acknowledge the past. So many people have done an incredible job of acknowledging the past and trying to do right by those wrongs. But I think we all acknowledge that there is still a lot that has to be done. Well, of course. Just the fact that we acknowledge it and can go from there because the first thing we got to do is to admit it. And that's what y'all tell the alcoholic until he's even able to say, hi, I'm a drunkard. Or hi, my name is K Khadija and I'm a cocaine abuser. Or my name is Khadija and I'm an alcoholic. Whatever it is, if you don't admit it, how you going to move past it? And if you don't admit it, and this is the mantra that y'all teach in these sessions of recovery. Am I right? Can I can I get a witness out there? <laughs> I mean, for real. Um, these statements appear to be a swipe at the British Empire, which was ruled over by his ancestors and led to the creation of a commonwealth and goes against protocols of royals not wadding into politics. The intervention was criticized by Tory MP Rosendale, who told online that Prince Harry's comments were very disappointing and they would very much not please the Queen. Mr. Rosendale said, I understand that Harry and Meghan have taken a step from the uh, being the member, being members, taking a step out from being the members of the royal family. Therefore, I'm surprised that he would be making comments like that. I don't agree with what he is saying. We should look forward, not back. You can't look, go forward with this shit without going back, bro. As someone who has stepped out of the royal family, he should focus on his own life and not get involved in politics. Politics rule your life. Some kind of way or another, you know.
And so he taking a stand, using this platform to, you know, say something about it. I don't see anything wrong with it because he's part of the problem. His ancestors. That is not the appropriate thing to do. And I'm not sure his grandmother would be too pleased either. It is the latest in a series of public steps taken by Harry and Meghan as they shift the focus of their royal work towards racial equality and social injustice. I mean, and social justice. Harry, 35, last week, publicly apologized for the endemic institutionalized racism, saying that he is sorry. The world isn't in a place where young people deserve it to be. The statement sparked calls for Harry to apologize for his own mistakes relating to racism. I remember when he wore the little thing. Uh, the, in, the, in the most recent call, Harry turned his attention to the British Commonwealth, which emerged out of the decolonization of the British Empire in the first half of the 20th century. Almost all of the 54 Commonwealth territories were once part of the empire. Y'all hear that? Okay, they was once part of that empire. The queen remains head of the Commonwealth. And in 2018, Harry's father, Prince Charles, was announced as her successor. However, Harry insisted it would only be possible for the organization to continue if more is done to acknowledge his past. And, you know, Harry's so far down on the list. <laughs> he like, you know what? Okay, anyway. Harry told a group of young people, which included uh, young leaders from Australia, the Bahamas, and the UK. When you look across the Commonwealth, there is no way that we can move forward unless we acknowledge the past. So many people have done such an incredible job of acknowledging the past and trying to right those wrongs, but I still think we can acknowledge that there is much more that we still have to and we must do. There is, it's not going to be easy, and in some cases, it's going to be very, it's not going to be very comfortable. But it needs to be done because guess what? Everybody benefits. Megan also touched on the Commonwealth's past, saying. In that reflection, it's acknowledging whatever mistakes we've all made. Right? Well, I don't know. I think um, having the reparations component uh, would very much right the wrongs. And that's something that can happen overnight. Uh, and, you know, before I go any further... When you see the stimulus and what COVID, you know, brought in the stimulus package, even though they gave us peanuts of our own money, just like I saw they cut them checks, and no matter what, and they gave them trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars to everybody, or and, and the people that really needed the most didn't get it, they can pay us reparations. And I don't want to hear nobody talking about they don't have the money to do it. That is the most stupidest kind of argument I've ever heard. They going to have to give it up. I mean, basically. And the only way things going to be right for black people in America is when you start dealing with reparations. There is nothing that we can do to right these wrongs. You can push down all the damn statues in the world that you want to push down. That's all good and fine. Okay? But those are just aesthetics. Right? We got to get down to the heart of the matter. The meat and potatoes of it. Y'all know y'all like that meat and potatoes. Got to get down to the heart of the matter. And the heart of the matter is, just like y'all cut them checks, you got to cut them for black people. That's the only way you're going to right or wrong in terms of weak of concern. Not just cut checks. This is going to have to be done in all kinds of ways. But reparations is due. You see saying in due time? I keep saying time is due. And that's what you see all over the world. And as I finish up this article, he said, um, uh, uh, optimism and hope. The optimism and the hope that we get is from listening and, speak and speaking to people. Because there's no turning back now. And we believe everything is coming to a head. Solutions exist and change is happening far quicker than it's ever done before. 
Some Twitter users question Harry's understanding of the history of the Commonwealth, arguing that it is established to atone to the mistakes of the Empire. Others say the Commonwealth nations should be empowered to resolve their issues independently rather than as part of a collective movement. Harry also admitted that he had his own unconscious bias and said, we can't deny or ignore the fact that all of us have been educated to see the world differently. I ain't mad at Harry. I ain't mad at Harry at all. In fact, we keep it up. And the world is in good hands with the young people coming up. It's in, it's in good hands. And old crones like me can look at y'all and say, okay, all right, keep it up. I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to encourage you with every breath that I have and apologize for the mistakes that my generation made to you, you know, by not continuing the fight so it could have been easier for you today. But that's all right. Y'all got this. Y'all got it. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Thank you.